way. Uh, <laughs> cut. This isn't working. Someone get this guy. Out. Um. Yeah. No. We're good. We're good. Recording. Oh. Don't. So you mean to tell me that you have never <laughs> seen pop. the Booty Warrior? I, I don't know. Like oh. I know that you have referenced Felice Johnson. I, I, just, I don't know what that we, is. Nikki has got to see the fucking Booty Warrior. You gotta Warrior. go to the search. Just for me. All you gotta do is put in Booty Warrior. I know, but all right. this is an epic day. This is a if momentous talk, occasion. Christ. Please God, please tell me you have you've never seen this. It's ringing some bells. All right. All right. Well, this could possibly be. We'll see once we get started into it. So, I remember when this came out or came to light as like a meme. Um I was in college. So like a really long time uh, ago. This was like Maybe my Chad still in This was like two thousand nine or ten. Yeah. Ish around that time. And you always hear these jokes about like in prison, you know people yeah. do what they gotta do. Like if you're in there for life, are you just gonna be celibate? Yes. Well You know, or I mean you it's like they get to a point where it's like not even like about the act of like making love to a woman, but it's more like you're going to be my toy for. Yeah, no, like it's uh, very predatory. Yeah, very. Well, like you have no choice in this sort of situation. That's the that's the R-wordy. that's the mythology surrounding it. I once saw a meme. <laughs> this dude, this dude got a tattoo on his back of a beautiful woman and his butt cheeks I don't know why were her boobs and the meme was like dear god if you ever go to prison I mean <laughs> oh that's so fucked up not good Those but anyway there's never this is always like this is always like you hear about it. there's no like proof or there's no like face to be the champion of this situation Right. Champion. Oh, oh! Not champion? only a champion, a warrior champion? for the cause. Right. So you have this idea in your mind of what that might be like, you know, in a situation where it's like, oh, this cartoonish figure, like in the movie. Um, what was that movie Dave Chappelle was in, where they were like, he was the janitor and he had the job at the place where they were testing half baked. Yeah. You know, nasty Nate is the dude on the inside, the big jacked guy that's big. just like, that booty is mine, you know. You're going to be my bitch, you know, that kind of thing. Like, that's what you, you, you see these characters in movies and shows and shit, but like, really, really, is it, that's uh, got to be overhyped. Well, that day, my life was forever changed because I was introduced to the booty warrior on YouTube, so. On YouTube, that's, a, that's, is, a, that's very important to the context of yes. this situation, not I was introduced to. No, 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 yeah. no, no. This was not a face-to-face -face meeting or a face-to-back meeting. This was through the screen, thank God, because uh, you know, you may become a victim of the booty warrior if you're on the wrong side of the situation. And uh, let me just introduce you here. I don't know what we're doing here, but okay. But when Lockup visited Kentucky State Penitentiary, we met Fleece Johnson. A long-time inmate who practices a very different kind of homosexuality. I don't even know what that really means. Well, we have sexual desires, right? So you got a bunch of men locked up in one place. All of them get hard. All of them's horny. All of them got sexual desires. So what are they going to do? If you won't let them have a woman, they gonna have each of somebody's gonna have to give us some booty. And it's uh, just that simple. <laughs> the most uh, <laughs> memorable story that Fleece told us was about the place and importance that booty has in a maximum security penitentiary. And he went on about it and on about it. In his prison, booty. Booty was uh, 
more important than food, booty, a man's Just butt. to you? <laughs> Thank you for clarifying. It was more important. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was more booty, <laughs> having some booty, <laughs> was more important than drinking water, man. <laughs> I don't think that's true. I like booty. <laughs> I think to tell our they crew definitely do. How he used to satisfy his sexual desires, <laughs> especially during the 1970s and 80s, when he was most active in prison security and his relax. <laughs> when I see one, and he looks good to me, when I go see him, I say, "You come here." I say, "I'm tell you what, uh, I like you." I want you. <laughs> yeah. And uh, uh, we can do it the easy way or the hard way. Oh, no, no, <laughs> no. Yours, right? <laughs> and it was always yes. Johnson also had a warning for the new generation of inmates. They might be asking for trouble for old timers. <laughs> you know, they got this thing where they save their pants, <laughs> past their butt. It's a style, they call it some sort of gangster style, you know, it's sexy <laughs> to us, right? And see, but they weren't prepared for this, right? So you say your pants in her, man, somebody be up in your butt, you know, and it just said so. Johnson even let the lockup crew know that when he was in his prime, they wouldn't be safe from his advances either. If y'all had been in her back then in them days, and as much as I like booty, I probably felt one of y'all butts. And y'all was walking past me. And dared you to say something. I'm not no shame in my game. <laughs> this is nothing that I'm ashamed to admit. I am what I am. I'm a warrior too, you know, so let that be known. I'm a warrior. The booty warrior, dude. The booty warrior is free. Yes, he's out of he's out of prison now. Should he be? No, no, no. Why was he? Anyway, anyway, I can't get sidetracked with this. <laughs> um, hey, and I'm a warrior too. Uh, Let that be he's like, I know what I am, and I'm like, um, our word is. Oh, he's he's a hard, 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 awful. Not He's a like, rapper, a rapist, but almost. Therapist without the? Yeah, without the. No, just the. Yeah, uh, I don't know why you recorded this because I don't think that we should put this. Oh, uh, the booty warrior? Is, babe, all he was talking about was like, I'm gonna do what I wanna do and I don't care what you say. Listen, this is the booty warrior. He's a legendary figure. Everybody knows about the booty warrior except for you. Well, you know who he was, but you didn't know. Yeah, I've he's heard a, you reference. He's a hardened inmate that is on the hunt for booty, dude. I thought we weren't watching Nino's trial. Oh, yeah, that's it. But seriously, dude, he was even on the Boondocks. They made a. Here, we'll watch that one. It too. says Chris Hansen. Yeah, check oh, it out. No. Hold on, I just got out of the shower. There's some juice on the table. Mm hmm. Take your time. You want to explain to me what you're doing here? I came looking for booty. <laughs> you came looking for sex with an underage boy? Oh no, I ain't come looking for no little bars. I ain't got no milk, no cookies, nothing. I came looking for man's butt. A man's butt? Excuse me? Oh, I know who you are, Chris Hansen. Oh no! See, I, I call you Chris Hansen. I watch your TV show all the time. So you can go ahead and bring them cameras and them police is waiting outside. It don't make me no difference. Now, I tell you what. I like you, and I want you. <laughs> Now we can do this the easy way, or we can do it the That's hard way. That's what I've heard you say. The choice is yours. Well, I don't think you and I will be doing anything any kind of way. Okay, I, I see you choosing the hard way. <laughs> okay, cut. This isn't working. Someone get this guy. Out. Um. Yeah. No. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Good God. We're good. I'm good. We're good. I'm good. We're good. I'm good. They call you Chris. I cre call you Chris Handsome. He says, "Oh, 
So that is the Booty Warrior, the legendary figure, uh, Felice Johnson, who has... <laughs> Felice Johnson is out on the streets, man. He's out. Yeah, that's that's a little scary. The man who says, scary. I, I like you and, and I, I want, want you. you. Which is totally fine to say, but the next part is not. <laughs> we can do this the easy way yeah, or the hard yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. The choice is yours. Yeah, the first hey, part, totally he, fine. He did say it was always yes. Well, because there were threats behind it. <laughs> it's not, look, man. I just, I remember seeing that in and, being, front of it. and being like, hand to God, I'm going to do my best to stay out of fucking prison. Yeah. Like, my no My dad went to prison. And yeah, he but he didn't makes, go to maximum security no. prison. This he is, always makes the joke that the sex was just, eh, okay. <laughs> like, of thank course, you, Dad. Of course he would. Yeah. Because he's a jokester. Anyway. Oh, man. But, uh, yeah, Fleece Johnson. Um, hopefully he's been reformed. And that was a long time ago. You know, that was like well, 2004. Well, we're going to have to catch up because that video looked like he was much older. So. He's much older. I've seen interviews with him as long as like two hours long. And I've just been like, I can't watch this shit. I don't have time for this. But, like, I am curious. Like, he does he regret player? doing that? Just imagine, dude, a film crew comes in. He probably thought he was never getting out. You know, he probably thought I'm never getting out. Or he just doesn't care. Or he just, he said, there's no shame in my game. I know what I am. I'm a warrior. Hey, I'm a warrior. If, if If you walked by me, I'm gonna touch it. Dude, I just, the image of him out in the courtyard. With his hands and his pants walking around with that cigarette flicked out of his mouth. I was like, <laughs> dude, no. God, dude, this is awful. Yeah, and like, don't wear your pants a certain way. Yeah, they, they got a style. A gangster style. <laughs> he said. You sound like a Somebody's really gonna old be up in that butt. Not- Somebody's gonna be in your booty. Oh <laughs> like, my god. Yeah, dude. So you know, like 17 year old or no 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 no. i was probably 20 at the time 18 yeah between 18 and 20 i just can't remember exactly when i saw it but i was rolling dude i thought this was the funniest thing in the world um but Um, yeah i I, I don't uh (laughs) that's very problematic look i look here you can take this one or two ways really the easy way or the hard the easy way. way or the hard way the hard way is it's the reality of that is horrific. 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 Because you Terrible. know, this is just the guy that's like, fuck it, I'll talk about this on camera. Right? He has no reason to lie about this stuff. No, I don't think he's lying. I don't either. No. So, like, there are the ones who don't want to talk, who are probably a million times worse than him. Like, and it's just scary. like, the reality of that is yeah. way like heavy. shit. Yeah. yeah. But the easy way... Is that he's also a character on the Boondocks? That interview can be seen as fucking hilarious, and he lives here in this little box in this screen is where my relationship with Felice Johnson begins and ends. Uh, is you that, hope? Yes. Yeah. No. Yes. That <laughs> is. I am manifesting that. <laughs> but like, you know, I mean, com- that's where comedy can come from. Like one of the most, some of the most fucked up shit is just that's that. True. Felice Johnson is this unbelievable, despite everything about him, he is an unbelievably shaking character. Like, it shakes you the first time you see that. And it's it's kind of funny, but there's a veil of comedy over this horrific situation. Thank you guys for watching this video with us. Bye.